All right, back in this crack repair on this Model A B block, and I've done about uh, I don't know five or six of these up top here, probably about six. And then right now I'm up to about where the thickness of the deck is at. You can see the decks right there. So thinking about switching over to the other style pins I got and see what that's going to do. Now we're going to have to do this at an angle because. You can't overlap your pins. So these pins, I think I'll drill at an angle this way, and I think this one I'll drill at an angle going that way. So it should stop it. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of, start going these things up the top, see what happens. I've been using the uh, tools over here I made up, which is my long tap holder here. So I took a T wrench and Put a set screw in here and connected it to together so that gives me a nice long extension here to work with a ratchet to go ahead and put these screws in what I've been using. So now it looks like we're going to swap over to our our A pins, C pins, C pins right here. We have been using our L pins which are our tapered pins. These are the ones that have the fish hook threads here. So these will actually start pulling the crack together instead of splitting it. So you can see how this crack's been getting a little wider as I came up to was stepping my way up this thing. So I think I'll swap over to the other style. But first, I think I'm going to go down here and put another uh, put another pin right here, one or two more right out here, just to make sure I got that crack stopped. I looked at the video; and it looks like it's right on the top of that crack when I did it. So. Thinking about hitting that again, so I think I'll go ahead and put a screw down there and we'll see what those look like. All right, I went ahead and dropped it down to the next hole down there. Oop. Too far below up. And you can see how the drill just walked right down on top of the pin that was there. And looks like it drilled about 75% of the old the first pin out and only a little bit of cylinder, so I don't think we're gonna be doing that anymore. So I'll go ahead and tap this out. My long tap, and see what we got. So we got our tap right here. Put a little cutting fluid on it. Drop the tap or the camera both. Okay. Go ahead and line this thing up as best we can and screw it on in there. So you got that thrown in, so I'm going to put that screw up in there, knock it off, so we grab another one of these screws right here, wherever the camera went to, and my socket here to put on with. It's going to do it by hand, isn't it? Put our goop up here in the cylinder. Goop our pin up. And go ahead and put our screw on. So we got started there. We're going to get our zip gun and we'll tighten up with that. Yeah, got my 
zip guy with my extension and my socket on it. And put that on there, which is a quick zip, and pop the screw. Like that. So, yeah, that one's all the way in there. So that pretty much went right on top of the original one we had. So I think we're pretty well done with that down at the bottom. So now I'm going to go back up here to the top and look at doing changing out these pins and try the other style. See what happens. Alright, this drill walked way off the center when I hit it. So you can see where I started drilling here. Come on, light. So right there top of my thumb is where the drill started, but by the time it got the hole in it, it was way over here off the edge of my crack. So I pretty much went completely off where I was supposed to be because the drill walked over on me. So I was drilling at an angle instead of going straight like I've been doing. So columns are doing stuff that's weird. So I'm going to have to come back and put another hole on top of this one. So I'm going to put a couple tapered pins in here before I switch over to the other style. Got no choice now. Okay, we got this pin in here. Damn camera. So you can see I'm damn thing. You can see I'm off the side of it a little bit there. Yeah, let me blow up. There you go. You can see I used to get that undercut right above my plug on the left side of the corner there at about the 10, 11 o'clock position. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another uh, Another pin right straight down the line of that crack this time. Instead of going at an angle, I'm just going to go straight into it. And hopefully most of it will get covered up with a, another pin. So I'm going to try that and see what happens. Alright, I got that hole in there. The reason I keep drilling through... You see in there or not. I keep drilling through even though there should be a solid deck up in there. Still, yeah, you see that all over the camera. Anyways, there's a hollow hole back in there. You kind of see the plugs on the other side, way down in there. But, uh, anyway, it's still still hollow there, even though it should have should be a solid deck. Going by the thickness of this deck over here, it should be metal in there, but we're not getting any. You can see how the crack's getting pretty wide though. But anyway, I drilled out that bad area there, pretty much all of it. So I'll go ahead and put another pin up in there. I'm thinking I can probably maybe switch over to my other style pins. I can do some measurements and see about how thick I think that is. And I may be able to switch over right now. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> 